hello everyone welcome to this video if you're new to this channel my name is moyo and you're so welcome to she bites i make videos all about food faith and lifestyle and today i'm taking you along with me as i make a crepe cake i had excess pancake flour or butter or whatever they call it and i thought let's make something nicer than just regular pancakes it was a bit of a journey i didn't really believe it was going to work out at the start but it did indeed it did so if you want to see what i got up to how i made it work from just basic pancake store-bought um, pancake flour then keep watching and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up if you're new here kindly subscribe and stay tuned to see the full details okay so we're starting off with like the basic pancake mix we're using hungry jack complete buttermilk pancake mix it's basically full of flour a dash of buttermilk sugar and then lots of vitamin additives so it's usually the best for like thick pancakes and waffles but on this day i wanted to make crepes so i really wanted to make a nice and thin batter so first i just wanted to sieve the flour it's been in this house for a long time and as you can see it had a lot of what we call cocoa or um, particles you know it had a lot of <laughs> a lot of small particles in there that i wanted to make sure were broken down to form a fine powder and those that didn't want to break down were going to be thrown out then i just added two eggs watch and see guys because this was like a real trial for me so this was about 300 to 400 grams of the pancake flour then i added two eggs to that because i wanted to start with two eggs you see that eventually i added some more eggs then i added milk um, you can also add a dash of vanilla, you could add some cinnamon powder, which I ended up adding eventually. I added enough milk to make it really, really nice and thin, so approximately 600 milliliters of milk. So now let's take a look at my frying setup. I have my batter ready to go, then I had some melted butter on the side. You can also use oil. I think butter just gives a bit of a better flavor. Then I have my pan nice and hot, and then I have a plate to transfer the crepes once they're done. I also have a measuring cup there because it's much easier to transfer the pancakes from a measuring cup to the pan than using any kind of spoon. As I said before, I added some cinnamon to my batter, then nicely oil your pan. If you have an amazing non-stick pan, you might not even need to oil your pan at all. But this is like, I don't know what to call this kind of pan, but it's a struggling pan, it's a hustle pan, it's a sofa head pan. So as you can see, my first, <laughs> my first crepe did not go as planned, so I decided to add some more egg to the batter to give it more of a body because it's very thin and it was not cohesive so after adding some more egg and making it a tad bit thinner this crepe started coming together the crepe started working out guys okay we're making progress after a couple of tries as you can see i did get the hang of it you want to make sure that you have very thin ends so it's easy for you to kind of peel the thin pancake layer and then be able to turn it over and cook the other side if your ends are super thick it might be a bit difficult to peel this one as you can see was a bit better but as i kept doing it guys i got the hang of it i got the right thickness and you know i got into the feel of it all and then i just kept going and going and making more and more crepes I think the major thing you want to try and do as much as possible is just use a non-stick pan try not to manipulate it too much wait until the crepe is almost done and then you can turn it over and hopefully it will work out for you repeat like 50 times and then you're going to have a lovely stack of crepes like this for the filling i'm going to be making a kind of ganache but with not with um cream with milk because i want it to be a bit more thin so i'm going to add the boiling milk to my chocolate mix until everything dissolves nicely then i'm also going to add a chunk of butter just for that extra layer of like luscious um flavor essentially speaking so that is it if you want you can just make a traditional ganache which is just you're just going to use heavy cream instead of milk and that will be that i just use the same quantity of chocolate and milk now that this is ready we're going to start assembling our crepe, crepe cake you want to put a little bit of ganache on each layer probably about two tablespoons or one and a half tablespoons spread it around add the next one and then just keep so you can fill it with a variety of different fillings you can go for 
different kinds of ganaches you can go with nutella chocolate spread you can also use fruit spread or jams on like plain ganache or it's really up to you you can actually go wild with whatever kind of filling you want to use for your cupcake so don't feel limited at all then when you've layered everything up and you're basically done one thing is that if you're like me and you did not get your each crepe the same size which is kind of usual kind of normal then you will have to trim the edges so i tried to do this as nicely as possible honestly it wasn't that easy and i didn't get it that straight but at the end of the day it was still nice and the beauty of the crepe cake is actually on the inside and not really on the outside but if you can try as much as possible to get them as close to the right size as possible so when you're done with this you might want to just spread some more of your ganache over the top and around the sides and then just cut into it and enjoy what i love about cupcakes is how they look on the inside and how they're just like so many layers of deliciousness it can never be dry it can never be boring because you have that level of intricacy and deliciousness all the way through so this was just me trying to play around i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up Subscribe if you're new here and I hope to see you in my next video. Share it with others who you think would enjoy it also. Bye guys. Thank you for watching